This is Geddon of Geddon's Games, Airsoft Company, and I wanted to comment on a live walkthrough that we took of a Coca-Cola bottling facility today. Uh, the purpose of this video is to introduce you to a possible location for our future events. Um, this location is in Sulphur Springs, Texas which is about an hour east of Dallas, right on I-30. The building itself is directly on the service road. It comprises of four sets of buildings and a large outdoor portion uh, of the buildings. It includes an outside utility building that we would use as staging, a forward office building that we would use for a storefront, party rooms, and uh, meeting rooms, and two large indoor playing areas uh, that could be used independently or together to create playing fields. Also outside is a lot of expansion room where we could either build additional buildings or additional outside courses. Going into this building, I'll show you all of the insides and what it has to offer as far as uh, potential. Just a reminder, this is raw video. It's unedited. It's every video clip that we took, the good and the bad, uh, as we did a walkthrough today. The first part of the video is just the front offices. They're very spacious. Uh, there's multiple, build, uh, multiple rooms that we could utilize. And it is directly connected to the main playing areas. So each office could either house a party, uh, a private party, a party room, uh, or it could be used as office space for the Geddens Games LLC headquarters, which we are expanding. So that would be helpful to have actual office spaces. You can see on either side of the hallway here, lots of, uh, lots of space apologize for the darkness of the video there's no electricity currently on in the building but there is quick access either from the offices or from the outside through this door into the main playing area once you enter the main playing area there is a, a restroom area uh, it's an eye wash station for I guess for OSHA standards there is a flush toilet in that first room and then you have a large open area with a small set of offices on the side and it is a second story on top of the offices that would create a observation deck so that you could put staff or spectators on top of there to watch underneath the observation deck is just a few small offices uh, we would probably endeavor to open that up to being part of the regular play taking out the central wall that separates them ultimately they're not very large but it's a building we wouldn't have to build This is a shot from on top of the observation deck. As you can see, there's plenty of space here to make one massive course. It's even feasible to split it into a couple of small courses, but my vision for this facility is to create an urban environment under a roof so that we can have all-weather play all year round. 
directly connected to the main room is this other room that is excuse me about half the size but still big enough to be a standalone floor plan at this facility we would offer multiple types of combat games ranging from laser tag to airsoft bring your own nerf parties possibly indoor paintball definitely outdoor paintball but possibly indoor paintball so this is the outlying building that you could see in the very beginning of the video out by the parking area it is a functional garage where they where the coca-cola company worked on their trucks it has an interior office and a chain link secured space uh, we would probably use this as private party staging since it has equal access to the inside and outside here in just a sec I kick on a light a flashlight and you can see that it's just a regular office inside there's the light so it's all finished out um, everything has electricity internet cabling everything so this this entire facility could instantly support all manner of effects uh, PA systems anything we wanted to do with with computers integrating computers into active play we're, I'm walking through the area which we would consider our parking area um, all, all the players that were playing at the field that day would park out in this area and what I'm bringing you around to show you here is the incredible amount of expansion space all of the concrete pad that you see that extends behind these buildings would contain playing fields they would be fair weather fields for when it's pretty weather outside and we're busy we'd have an additional course that we could go outside and play uh, this is what we're talking about allowing paintball to play on uh, realistically we could play whatever we want out there but but the paintball would probably use this the most there's enough room here for two paintball courses or one really big one uh, I'm more in favor of one really big course instead of uh, multiple small courses we also have all of the grassy area that extends around so uh, very simple to put up paintball netting and just make uh, all the field that we want out here big open space So the main thing that we need to get this started is startup funding. So we'll be turning on a Kickstarter package for this facility. We want to raise about $100,000. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it doesn't take but 1,000 players at $100 a piece to, uh, to make $100,000, which we don't expect everyone to commit that much money some people will commit more some people will commit less we'll be selling investor units uh, all of those details will come out in the Kickstarter package we'll see what goes on and if we've got the traction if we've got the amount of people uh, and money necessary to get it started we'll get started right away the coca-cola company is ready to sell this thing to us and and help us get it started so hopefully with player support uh, and community support and even outside support this will be a reality uh, by mid or late 2013 if you want additional details you can email me getin at gettinsgames.com I'm pretty sure we will have more video up soon Thank you for watching, and if possible, uh, please make a commitment when the time comes.